Hi, welcome back to Songwriting 101 with John Barfield. I'm your host, John Barfield. And today, we're doing a very, very special episode because we are getting rid of this thing. Oh God, I can't throw that. Today, instead of showing you how to write songs on guitar, I'm going to be showing you how to write songs on a keyboard. Now this particular keyboard is a mini Korg synthesizer and it is very diverse and has a lot of sounds, but we're gonna go to a very basic sound just so I can show you guys how writing with keys can work. So one of the things that's really fun about keys that you wouldn't get out of a guitar necessarily is the amount of range that you can cover in one moment. For example, I can hit one of these and then hit one of these up here. And now I have uh, a, a high chord up here being supported by a very low bass note down here, which on a guitar, you usually wouldn't be able to hit bass notes that would help keep the chord a lot more vibrant. That's usually what the bass is for, but with a keyboard, you can kind of do it without that. And with more range comes more chord possibilities. Now, I can't exactly show you what I mean on here because this is limited to four notes at a time. It's not the greatest synthesizer in the world. So I'm gonna go over to my piano that is out of tune. Piano. Oh, nothing feels better than some nice keys made out of ivory. Mmm, -hmm, baby. But like I said, with more range and more possibilities, that means you can do things that you wouldn't be able to do on a guitar necessarily. On a guitar, there are six strings, which means that only six notes can be playing at any given time. With a piano, you have five fingers on each hand, meaning that you could play ten notes at the same time if you really were inclined to do so. easier way to play that? Yeah, probably, but I had to record that with my phone in my mouth, so I feel like I should be allowed a little leeway, damn it. But another great thing about keyboards is that they are different instruments, and so because they're different instruments, it gives you different ideas, and the way you think about songwriting changes with a new instrument. Here's something that I wrote for keys that I don't think would sound the same on guitar, if I, even if I tried for it to be. I mean, that's pretty fun. I like that a lot, and it gives me new ideas, and it inspires things that I don't think a guitar could inspire. Also, again, another thing that's great about the fact that you have range is that this can cover so many different parts of your song and your mix. You could use it for bass. You could use it for lead. even use it as a rhythm instrument to help keep the time. It's such a good instrument to know. I believe more than anything that a foundation for a good songwriter is someone who knows how to play the keys. Well, well, if that's the case, then why isn't this whole series you playing keys? Why are you only playing guitar in all the videos? Don't tell me what to do. Don't ever tell me what to do. I will kill you. I will kill you with my bare hands. I will grab you around the neck with my bare hands and I will slam your head into the ground until you are no longer alive. I will use my own body. But like I always do, I will leave you guys with a piece that shows the importance of what I've been talking about today, but in a different way to really drive home the point. My name is John Barfield and this has been Songwriting 101 with John Barfield. Thank you. Insert shot of me being dramatic.